what's going on YouTube? I hope everyone's having a great day today. It's that time of the month again where I talk about what cards are in my wallet for November 2020 and which cards I'm rolling with. Hey, welcome to Points Blank Travel, everyone. My name is Rod and on this channel we talk about credit. We talk about credit cards. We talk about personal finance, points and miles, how to travel around the country or around the world for little or no money out of your pocket. If this is something you're interested in, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. As of this recording, we're sitting at 688 subscribers and I'm really trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of November. So with that being said, give the video a thumbs up, like the video, it helps it get pushed out to more people on YouTube, share it. And when I say share it, I'm serious. Share it with your family and friends, share it with your loved ones. Let's get everyone up on this knowledge. I'm really trying to hit these 1,000 subscribers by the end of the month, but more importantly, more importantly than that, I want people to understand the credit card game, the credit game, the personal finance game, and get the knowledge. And with all that being said, let's roll, baby. Before I get started, remember I do a live stream every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And in these live streams, I will have a topic, but it will give you an opportunity to ask any questions that you may have about credit, credit cards, personal finance, traveling, and I'll answer them right there on the spot. So definitely check it out every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. You know, the month of October was tough, man. I had surgery at the end of November, I'm sorry, the end of September. Rolling into October, I did videos in pain, I did live streams in pain, but I must say, right now, I am 95% back, baby, and the energy is on point. What I, forget all that, let's just get into these cards, man. The first card in the wallet for November 2020 is the Marriott Bunvoy card. I received an email where this card, if I spend $1,500 between, I want to say I activated the offer about three days ago, up until December 24, 2020, if I spend $1,500, I'll get a 15,000 point bonus. Now, with the Marriott Bunford card, which is discontinued, you can't apply for it anymore, I get two times the points for every dollar spent, regardless of where I go, unless it's a Marriott property, then I get six times the points. So, the way I look at that, if I'm getting 15,000 points for spending 1,500 points, plus the two points that I would already get, that's like 12 points per dollar for every dollar to spend. Man, I would be a fool not to do that. So that's definitely in my wallet for the month of November 2020. Next on the list is my Hilton Honor Surpass card. I put this in the wallet because I received another email. I will get 1,000 base points for every thousand dollars I spend on top of the bonus points I already get. And with that card, I get six times the points at grocery stores, gas stations, and restaurants. So again, I'm winning, man. That is the reason I have these. I normally would rarely carry two hotel credit cards in my wallet, but what's tripped out about November is I'm carrying three, baby. I'm carrying three hotel cards. And next in the wallet is my World of Hyatt credit card from Chase. That is in the wallet. Man, I'm slamming them down like I'm slamming down the mic. That's in the water because I received another email where I was getting three times the points if I use that card at grocery stores. I'm gonna use that card sparingly. I'm, I am running a nine card setup for the month of November. I normally will run eight, but actually I'm running a 10 card lineup. No, nine, nine card lineup. But I had to put that in the wallet because I do want to earn some World of Higher points. They're very valuable. I'm not sure when I'm going to be traveling again, but I do want to earn as many points as I can. But the reason I'm not going to max that out, and you'll see next, is grocery. Man, a lot of my cards are tailored toward groceries. A lot of the offers that they're putting out right now, they've been the credit card issues. They're tailored toward groceries. So it's kind of hard to really juggle and maneuver and strategize with all these grocery offers that are coming out. Next in the wallet for November 2020. I knew it wouldn't be long. I actually added it into the wallet in October as soon as I received it. And that is my Freedom Flex card. This card right now is giving me 5% cash back or five times the points at grocery stores. Hence, why I'm only gonna put a minimum amount of spend 
on the world of high card because I can transfer chase points over to world of high but I'm actually thinking about and I'm going to do a separate video on that I'm thinking about using my freedom flex card as a cash back option with chase I'm going to take those ultimate reward points and either cash them out or use them for pay yourself back or something like that but five percent cash back at grocery stores three percent cash back at restaurants that freedom flex card is a Beast. And that's what I'm using it for. It's more to offer to, with that card. And definitely check out the video that I've already done on the Freedom Flex. But it's more to offer with that card. But that's just what I'm using it for. Next in the wallet is my American Express Blue Cash Preferred card. I'm not sure how the lighting is in this video. But man, I'm using that card at grocery stores. I could use it at gas stations. But I have other cards that I will use. And I may use it at the gas station a couple of times this month. Excuse me. And that is 6% cash back at grocery stores. 6%. Notice I said my uh, Freedom Flex, Flex card will get 5% cash back. And I'm also trying to hit the minimum spend requirement with the Freedom Flex, which if I spend $500, I'll get $200 cash back. But that American Express, and as you can see, other than the bonus categories I'm trying to hit, I'm migrating to a cashback strategy. Next in the wallet is another newcomer straight into the starter lineup, and that is my US Bank Cash Plus card. I'm using this card for utilities, 5% cash back on all utilities. I'm also using it for 5% cash back at fast food restaurants and 2% cash back at gas stations. Next in the wallet, because I want to keep the points going i want to keep my points going even though the majority of this here yeah there are some points with the the bunvoy the hotel cards the bunvoy the higher card and the hilton surpass card but i want to keep my transferable points my flexible points going so i do have my american express gold card in the wallet and with this card i do get four percent cash back i'm sorry four times the points i'm so caught up in cash back baby i'm talking about cash back with everything i'll get four times the points at grocery stores and at restaurants with their card. Card number uh, eight that's in the wallet is my American Express business gold card because I'll get four times the points at gas stations with this card. So I'm, I'm really trying to get my, my arsenal up to uh, no, a minimum of three times the points or 3% cash back. So four times the points at restaurants and grocery stores with the American Express personal gold card and four times the points at gas stations with the American Express business gold card. Last on the list, I had to have a card, a catch-all card. I had to have a card that was going to be able to, to get something other than 1% for the non-bonus categories. And this is where I'm not going to get 3% cash back, but I'm not going to get 1% either. And that is my City double cash card will be in the wallet for the month of November. You get two times the points for every dollar spent. You get one times a point for every dollar you spend, and then you get one point when you pay the bill. I typically pay my bills as soon as the statement, um, not the statement post, I, I pay it as soon as the transaction post. So I'm always keeping up and always making sure I'm getting two times the points. Well, there you have it. That is what's in my wallet for November 2020. Thought I'd come back. I, I think every video I do, because it's a new month, I typically get a haircut. I like to come out with just a, a natural look. No hats, no curls, none of that. Man, again, do me a favor. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel, man. Oh, boy, I just dropped every card I got. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of November. I really need your help. Share the video with your friends and family, your loved ones, your social media platforms. Give this video and every video a thumbs up because it helps it get pushed out to YouTube. And that really helps the channel out a lot. And as always, as always, shoot for the moon, baby. If you don't make it, you'll be amongst the stars. Remember, I go live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And with all that being said, peace, baby.